My name's Jamil and um, I come from a large family. Um, I have brothers and sisters, three of each. I have a son, two kids, but basically I'm just a little person that uh, lives out in the bushes of Beryllie. I sort of decided that I like the thought of being a painter. I think it's a pretty good thing to do for me, my type of personality. So it's how I spend my time. I lived down at Barara Waters for uh, about a dozen years and that was a boat access place. And I was mesmerised by water and I'd watch this water and it would be silvery to the point and it would be slippery and organic and it'd move. And if something happened with the light that was shining up on the cliffs, suddenly the water would turn orange because of the sandstone. And I look at the water and think to myself, how can I paint that? I don't have a recipe. I wish I did, but I don't. I guess I, I don't have trouble starting. I don't have any trouble starting. The left hand is like a scout. It's moving and feeling, and the right hand is, you know, it's doing something. And I'll throw paint onto the surface. Um, I might move it with my hand. Um, I might put stuff down with brushes. I use a lot of different mediums, so I, I like to play. I work flat. Now, I work flat for a number of reasons. One is that I will often just throw paint on and move the canvas or the glass around. I also like to work flat because I do not want to have a traditional perspective. That meaning that I don't have mountains going off into the background. I like to be able to create my own space because it's not, it's not a representation of something that I'm looking for. It's a feeling, it's an energy that I'm looking for. I can work a full day at another job and then come home and work another six, seven hours. So it's something that I get as well. So it's a receiving and it's a, a giving. Um, I love living with my painting. Upstairs I've got two really nice bedrooms, so it's calm up there. And I normally drag the work up there when I want to look at it, because I'm not quite sure whether it's finished or I'm not quite sure what to do. The painting stopped talking to me. So they normally get dragged into my bedroom and then at night time I can look at them before I go to sleep. And often I'll have the answer in the morning. Sometimes the paintings are elusive and in the end I get the shits with them and I turn them around and make them face the wall. <laughs> I'm not talking to you now. I just sort of feel like this whole planet, I mean, we're just living on a living, breathing organism called Mother Earth. And Mother Earth has got a lot of uh, really tender, really sacred energies there that um, I just, just want to breathe it in and then I want to be able to share it with people because I have um, the ability to be able to see people as to what they do on their weekends because I work a, a job in a large shopping mall to help pay the bills and I see people shopping as their entertainment. I just want to gather them up, I want to put them in the back of my van and I want to drive them out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> don't come here, come out. I know that what I see here is true and real and supportive and nurturing. And I know it's probably not for everyone, but um, I just wish more people would take the time to smell the roses, yeah. I guess growing up back in the 60s and the 70s, um, it was kind of like, you know, you should have plan B, you should be, you know, go do medicine or do something. It's what I love doing, it's what I enjoy, it's what I feel comfortable with, it's what puts the step in my pace, it's what puts the sparkle in my eye, it's what makes me laugh, it's what makes me cry and pull out my hair. It's challenging, it's 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 like the ultimate challenge. There's nothing is ever the same. 
you're constantly looking at things differently. There's nothing that's, for me, there's no routine to it. As, as far as, you know, sure, there's the routine of the studio practice and, and actually doing the work. But as far as what you're creating and what you're seeing and trying to put down to show the people, uh, it's constantly changing. And I love it. I, I love that. And I love the thought of painting. I love the feel of the paint on me. I love the smell, which is probably highly toxic at times. But yeah, it's just a good gig, I think. It's just a good gig, yeah.